Hello, beautiful Virgo. Thank you for tuning in to Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and this is my absolute first time on YouTube. I'm very excited to bring you my gifts. So a little bit about myself. I am a psychic and coach um, and I'm excited to bring you my voice, my gifts, my knowledge, my wisdom and my personal life experiences to this channel. Um, a little bit about myself, so I am Cancer Sun Sign and my moon is in Taurus. So I very much connect with the elements of water and of earth. Now these messages are just general messages. This will be a Love Vibes reading for the week. I am not going to put a timestamp on any of my readings because time is an illusion. I, I leave these readings open for the wider collective because it is my intention that when you tune in and you watch and listen to my readings that there is a message in here waiting for you. I always set the intention within my readings that the messages that I channel through these cards help you, the viewer, gain some kind of clarity or understanding or support or wisdom with where you're currently at okay now these readings can go vice versa this could be you I'm tuning into Virgo or the person that you're thinking about okay so please use your discernment Virgo you're smart you're intelligent you're wise so I'm gonna leave that up to you okay so take what you need leave what doesn't um, I'm going to, in the description box below, leave a list of services that I'm going to be offering this channel. So feel free to connect with me there. I am also on Instagram, so please feel free to head over there and get to know me, Virgo, a little bit better as I'm looking forward to getting to know you, my soul family as well. So Virgo, I'm using here the spirit oracle from Colette Baron reed to get an overall energy message for your love vibes reading this week and the card that came out for you was beaver spirit and directly below it says lay a solid foundation now when i tuned into the energy of this card what i heard was something is gnawing away at you gnawing so like gnawing like chewing away at you this is either you or the person that you're thinking about or it's both of you maybe for the both of you something is gnawing away at you you know like gnawing away something is eating away at you okay and i feel that you're you may be borrowing yourself further and further into this issue. Now, I do believe that beavers like to swim in rivers or lakes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is what I'm picking up and this is what I'm seeing. So the fact that something is gnawing away at you, Virgo, or the person that you're connected to, is that it's got to do with your emotions. So what is playing on your emotions? I'm seeing the beaver in the lake and it's got to do with emotions and it's gnawing away at you and you can't seem to quite ground or both of you are ungrounded at this time. So it's really, um, what I'm getting here is that you're needing to anchor in to your root chakra or your foundation. Now, what is your foundation? It's what makes you feel safe, Virgo. It's what makes you feel safe. If your ground is shaky, then that's going to create all sorts of havoc for you. You know, you can't build anything off a shaky ground. And certainly a relationship cannot sustain on a shaky ground or a shaky foundation. 
So something needs to be sorted out here. Something needs to be released. Something needs to be healed. Something needs to be let go. Something needs to be reworked. And it's got to do with your foundation. And I feel it's got to do with whatever it is that's gnawing away at you. So if you don't face it, then you borrow yourself further and further and, and you get deeper and deeper into this. And before you know it, you find yourself overtaken or overwhelmed or um, overtaken, overwhelmed by this emotion or energy. And you're so consumed by it because you've buried yourself further and further and further into the ground with this issue or this problem or this dilemma or this wound. So my message to you here, Virgo, is that you're needing to touch on this niggly issue. And let it go. Touch on it. Journal around it. Ponder it. Sit with it. Don't do anything with it. Be the observer of how this is affecting you. Why is it affecting you? Can you let this go? What do you need to do? to be able to heal this emotion or this issue now and you know vice versa now this could be you virgo this could be your partner or the person that you're connected to but this is what i'm currently feeling is the overall energy of your love vibes reading so i'm just going to set that over there because that is the overall energy for the reading this week virgo and now I'm going to tune into the Everyday Tarot cards and select three cards for your Love Vibes reading and messages this week. So I'm just going to wait for the cards to pop out. So Spirit, Angels, Guides, what are the main messages Virgo is needing to hear regarding their Love Vibes messages this week, please? Spirit, Angels and Guides. Now, I don't take every single card that pops out. If the energy doesn't feel right, then I don't take it, Virgo. Okay, I don't take it. I'm very much tuned in to my intuition and my spirit guides. So the first card to pop out is the Six of Wands in reverse. We have the Queen of Pentacles, which I'm seeing straight off the bat that this is you, Virgo. And we have, I'm going to take that one, the Eight of Cups. Okay, now I read tarot intuitively. I do not always read it um, in regards to the meaning of the card. I channel messages through these cards I use tarot to or oracle to channel my own messages from spirit okay so they're just the trigger that help me gain these messages so Virgo what I have here for you is that someone is very much focused on you someone is watching you I feel that they, I feel that they, there's some kind of a, a regretful energy here with the Six of Wands in reverse. I feel that they know someone or, or you, vice versa, someone didn't gain what they needed to gain from this relationship or connection I feel there was a loss here I feel there was a loss they didn't really win 
some kind of victory with you. Or this could be you seeing the situation or this person as it was a it was a unsuccessful journey or outcome or connection. Now I, I'm reading this energy as it's still alive. Like this energy is still very much alive because this person is focused still on you they may even come back around to you Virgo okay they may even come back around to you they are seeing you as the Queen of Pentacles now the Queen of Pentacles is very grounded. Now, it's very contradictory to what I said about the foundation right now of you, Virgo. So I'm feeling like with this Queen of Pentacles, they are seeing you as someone who is grounded and who is doing well from themselves they also see you as someone who holds their own um, you know you don't need a man or a woman in your life like you're doing quite well on your own <sighs> something came in but it left see this is how fast I channel um, but they really don't know that you've done a lot of work Virgo on on yourself you've done a lot of work to get yourself to this position and you know what I still feel that you're still working on yourself because you're holding this pentacle and you're still prepared to work on yourself and I'm just feeling here with the energy of this card that there is a gnawing issue here that still needs to be revisited or reworked. Even though you have worked on yourself for quite some time, that's okay. You know, the work that we do on ourselves never really truly ends. And the beauty about that is, is that you only become more expansive. You only become a better person as a result of continuing to invest in yourself, Virgo. So I feel here with this person still watching you, I feel that you're very much bothering them Um, but I don't feel in a negative way. It's like they are looking at you or the situation they have with you and it was they're looking at it going, geez, it was an unsuc it was unsuccessful. I didn't really quite get what I wanted. And I feel that they are probably wanting your attention too. This person's wanting your attention. And I feel this is what's probably gnawing away at you, Virgo. And maybe I'm seeing this as um, this wreath here. See how the circle, I'm seeing this as this is a continual pattern with the both of you. And maybe you're not really able to communicate that to each other at this time. But I'm sort of seeing here, you know, uh, two people going around and around and you're just really just getting on each other's nerves, even though you may not be together. But energetically, that's what I'm picking up. That's what I'm picking up, Virgo. So keep doing you. I think the focus here is to keep working on self. Keep working on self because there was some kind of a loss 
and that's okay we only become better through our failures and failures aren't necessarily bad things they're just something we add to our our experiences this is what helps us become better people now with the eight of cups here I'm seeing that um, someone is wanting to leave this energy behind now I feel Virgo if you do continue to do the work I really see you shifting through this faster than what you had anticipated um, I see this as someone really seeing you leaving them behind or this could be you seeing someone that you are connected to they left you behind but however this story sits with you Virgo it's going to be okay it's going to be okay a new day is coming something new is coming for you right a new a new something is coming for you or you're going to it so you're you're shifting through these emotions because they're no longer serving you and as you continue to do the work you'll this these emotions get lighter and lighter and lighter and and then they don't hold so much power within your emotional body okay does that make sense Virgo I really hope that makes sense for you but wherever you're going to wherever you're both going to it's it's new and and there's something there that's even better for you okay but you're definitely making that forward movement and maybe someone here that you're connected to is still focused on you and they really can't move forward they can't move past something and that's okay leave them to it Virgo leave them to it they will eventually get back on the horse okay when they're ready when they work through their own niggling issues they will get back on that horse and they will move forward too but right now Virgo you just need to do you and know that there's something new that you're heading towards and you know what Virgo I almost feel like you even know this but the overall energy is that something within your environment has is niggling at you and it just it's there for whatever reason it's there um, and it's needing you to be the observer of that niggling issue okay Virgo feel free to like share and subscribe this video if you feel it resonates or it or if you feel called to do so I'm so grateful that you were able to tune in um, and I very much look forward to connecting with you again Virg so see you soon